we have to move away from coal. And government has to work on a clear plan with community people and with industries that are in South Africa to develop a plan that takes us away from coal. It looks like this amazing gift from the past, this bounty that's under the soil. But that's not actually what it is. In the Mopumalanga area, we have 12 of Eskom's coal-fired power stations, the largest in the world. These power stations are putting out the majority of South Africa's pollution. Walking through the townships of Mopumalanga, you can't see 10 meters ahead of you in the middle of winter. I kept buying medication, thinking my child had flu. He will have to take medication for the rest of his life. I was wondering how many other people out there are like me. You need to start taking action now in order to protect the next generation. We can only do so much in the time that's available to us when we are able to shut down power stations. The cost to comply with the legislation is simply too much compared to the benefits that could be gained. That tells you quite a lot about the lack of respect for human health. Because what it in fact means is that keeping the economy going is more important than looking after the health and well-being of South African citizens. When people start truly freaking out, when the 50% of the world's population that live on the coast start getting freak waves and floods from the ocean, the climate change debate will change very quickly. And for us sitting on a lot of coal, not taking that into account is the bliss of ignorance.